Hi guys, today we're showing some of the new features on Govee's app and what these enhancements mean to some of their products. I've got Govee's Flow Pro light bars together with their RGB IC Dream Color LED strip and their RGB LED light strip. This is a massive game changer, especially for the Flow Pro light bars. I'll show you the features for each of the products so you can see the enhancements for yourself. Let's start with the Flow Pro light bars. So first of all to note, if you do own these, you'll require a firmware update. And it's very simple, make sure you've connected via Bluetooth. And once you've connected, you'll see an indicator that it requires an update. Just go through the instructions and get it updated. And once all that's done, this is what you'll be presented with. So first of all, the basic functionality is the same. So you can turn it all off from here. And then you can turn off individual bars. You've got effects lab. Now in here, you have a range of different colors. And if I pick on different areas, so if we go to ingredients, so for instance, cucumber, so if you wanted to set a particular color, they've defined these already. So you don't have to hunt around looking around for them. So if I pick cucumber, you can see the three different colors that make up the color of a cucumber. Going down, same sort of thing for other things. So for fruits, buildings, animals, etc. All different things are covered here. Back from here, time is still the same. So you can set timers to do a wake up or go into sleeping mode. Brightness levels can be adjusted. And now coming on to music sync, this is where there's been a few changes. Now you can actually flip between either using the microphone built into the device, or you can use the microphone on your phone. Now you've got four different music sync options. And if I flip between going to my phone now, this is what's presented. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Accuracy actually seems much better with this and you can adjust sensitivity levels as well. Test one, two, three. Let's go back to the built-in microphone and you've got four default settings here. So if I go to vivid, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Rhythm, see for yourself the effect it gives. Then we'll go to strike, test one, two, three, vibrate. Test one, two, three, you can see for yourself, looks really cool. Auto color options there as well. So if I turn that off, you could just do a single color. If I flip onto that, it will alternate between different colors. Moving on to video mode. Now I've got the light bars installed on my TV just to show the difference in modes. So if you look on my phone, you can see I've got full screen mode selected. And if I bring a card in close, color only changes around the middle and not at the sides, which isn't so great. Now, if I flip over to split screen, and now bringing in the card, you can see the difference. You see the red on one side, and then it moves across to the other side. This is how it should have been in the first place, and really good seeing it working like this. Now, we've got some sample footage running now, and you can see the colors transitioning right to left and left to right. You can see the colors changing and very impressive how it's working. And this is how it should have been working in the first place. So great to see it in action. You may notice a slight delay as the color appears and that's only because it's a camera. It's not got a pass through where it's picking up the colors directly on there. It's just what the camera's picking up. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the segmented side of the light bar doesn't come into effect in this mode. It just does a singular color. So you won't see multiple colors coming on when this is in action. But nevertheless, you can see for yourself, very impressive. And the colors are changing left to right accordingly. Now, if I flip over to full screen, just so you can see the difference, you can see there, it's just picking up the middle section of the TV with this. Going back to split screen. There you go. Really impressive how it's working. You can see for yourself, performance is pretty good on this and color representation isn't bad either. So really impressed with how they've done this. Looking onto color, now this is where things get really clever with them. This is where the Philips Hue Play Bar cannot compete with this because they've got segmented control on this of the light bars which means you can actually pick a color for different areas and change it accordingly, even turn off segments. So for instance, if I now select that, turn them all off, do the same for the other one, they're all off now. And then if I deselect everything, select the top segment, place the color, 
bottom segment, place another color and so forth. I can just carry on adding and removing colors as I want. You can see for yourself, the customization available on there is absolutely amazing. You can see for yourself. I'm not sure the camera really gives it the justice it deserves. Let's move it onto a wall. That probably shows it off a bit better. Spinning it back again. Let's do the same on the other side. As well as being able to change the colors, you can also change brightness levels on each segment. So for this one, I can take it down or up. You can see there, taking it to the minimum, take it to the maximum, pretty impressive. And now if I spin them both around, you can see the effect it gives, absolutely stunning. And again, to highlight, Philips Hue play bar can't do this. Now moving down below, you can select the whole bar and set a static color like that. Same with the other one. So you've got your color palette there, and then you've got your white colors. So you can go from warm white to cold white on here. And again, it's doing it for the one that's selected. Going down, there's a color wheel on here. Selecting that, you can just alternate and go between the different colors. The quality are really good on here. Back from here. Now, the different designs you make up with the color patterns you've selected, you can save these. So if I click on save color now, you can just select either the color you've selected or even the entire effect you've got on there. So for instance, if I just click those two, it will save both those bar colors. Now looking down below, you can see the different colors. If I drop that down, you can flip between the different effects you've already defined. So clicking on there, you can see one I've done before. And this will apply obviously to the bar that's selected. So if I go up, select the bar, come down, drop this down and I can flip between them. There you go. So it's applying it to both of them at the same time, or you can apply them to the individual ones. So very impressive, the fact you can define your own and then flip between them. Now back from here, going to scenes. So let's show the different scenes available. So this is the reading one, static color. Then you've got movie, candlelight. See the slight transition. Before it was a bit inconsistent and jagged, you could say. And you could easily see it moving along. Whereas with this, with the update, it's actually smoother. This is romantic. Aurora. Breathe. Energetic. Snowflake. Seasonal, Bloom. You can see there how smooth it is between transitioning the colors. Crossing. And finally, Rainbow. I really like the Rainbow one. I think the transitions on this are really impressive. You can see for yourself, I'll turn them around. The colors moving along and there you go very impressive now moving on to diy this is where you can define your own and you can flip between the different settings on here but you're seeing for yourself really impressive functionality so the segmented control and the smoothness in the flow is very impressive here i think they've really done a good job next moving on to the rgb ic led strip now similar thing again firmware update will be required for this you'll get an indication, make sure your Bluetooth's turned on and again, get it updated. And once it's updated, this is what you'll be presented with. Similar functionality, you can turn it on and off from here. You've got the effects lab, same thing again, different items in there and the colors associated with them and they can be applied. And just to note, if you wanted to add it to your selection of colors, you can just hold on to it and it's added automatically to your selection of colors. And then looking in Effects Lab, you can see all the different scenes that's available here and in another location. I'll show that in a second. Back from here, you've got the standard functionality. So timer, so wake up, sleeping, and just general timers as well. Then brightness levels. Brightness levels are very good on this. Next, we've got different modes. So clicking on music mode. Now, same thing here as well. You can flip between either the microphone built onto the product on the controller, or if I click on here, it will use the microphone on my phone. It's nice, again, got the sensitivity levels. So you can pick that up and obviously try and recreate it. Looking below, you've got party, dynamic, calm. 
and auto color as well. You can see that's selected. If I turn that off, it will just stay with a single color. Going back to the default microphone, and there are the four different music sync options available. So you've got energetic, first of all. And again, with that, you can see different levels appearing. Rhythm, that's the next one along. So you've got sensitivity changes on this as well. And you've got dynamic and calm. Looking further along, you can turn on auto color. Let's turn up the sensitivity, test one, two, three. Go to spectrum, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. I'm about two meters away from the microphone and pickup is very good. I'm not shouting in any way. Let's go on to rolling, test one, two, three. And again, there you go, very good. Moving on to color, same sort of functionality with their previous RGB IC LED strip. So segmented control on here. So I can pick a couple of segments, change the color, move on to the next one and so forth. Now I've mentioned this in previous videos, these strips can't be cut. Obviously it's defined to have a certain number of segments and if you cut it, obviously it's gonna mess things up. So they don't recommend cutting this. You could probably make a cut and join it together. So if you wanted a gap in between, but again, this isn't recommended at all. And they say, just leave it as is. Looking below there, you've got relative brightness as well. So as with the Flow Probe light bar, you can change brightness on certain areas. So you can see there for the red, I can take it down and then take it right up. So nice, that extra functionality to do that. And similar functionality again, you can just pick a static color. You can turn off a chunk, turn it back on again. I do like that. If you look at any of the other standard LEDs out there, you don't get this sort of functionality on there. You've got your warm and white as before, together with color wheel. And then looking below, there's the color I added in from the top bit where we had effects lab. And now looking into scenes, and this is what I said before, you've got a lot of scenes available. I won't run through each one. There's so many available, but just briefly to give you an idea what to expect. And I'll quickly flip between the different ones. So you've got natural at the top, then you've got festival, life, emotion, and then at the top, you've got DIY here as another mode. And again, you can define your own DIY settings on this. And that's it. That's all the options available with the RGB IC. With the standard LED strip, which I've got laid out here, options are the same as you can see. So you can still go into the effects lab, pick a color out of there, brightness levels, timer, different modes as well. And looking in scenes, you've even got the same sort of scenes available for this and you can edit them as well, together with doing your own DIY mode on there. So there you go, some excellent changes made by Govi to their products. Really impressed by what they've done here and blown away by the Flow Pro light bars. Philips Hue play bars don't stand a chance with this. The segmented control and the way the colors are represented from what's on the TV on the left and right hand side, how that's represented on the light bars is so impressive. They should have done this in the first place, but it's good to see they're moving along and making these changes. So there you have it. You've made it to the end of another video and a big thank you for watching. And I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing these Govi products. If you drop me a I love Govi in the comment, I know you're still here supporting me and I'll give you a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.